We've been talking about it for weeks now, and the time has arrived. In just two days, Georgia's hands-free law takes effect. And starting Sunday, it will be illegal to hold your phone while driving. But there are a few gray areas, and we've been flooded with questions about what you can and cannot do. Tonight, though, we've decided to answer those questions by hosting a Facebook Live for you. So hopefully you can send any questions you or family or friends have, and we'll take care of those for you. Sergeant Greg Feltman from the College Park Police Department, nice enough to come and offer some guidance for us. You say one of the biggest questions you've been getting is, is there a grace period? That's the biggest question we've been getting, and there is no grace period. Sunday's Sunday's the day. Sunday it starts. Sunday is the day to change a habit, and you say the law is really aimed at changing a habit to get the phone off your lap and out of your hands. Basically, to get it out of your hands is a behavioral change so that you pay closer attention to the roadways. What what parts of the law do you see as having a gray area where people might feel a little confusion? Uh, I think the music streaming is is one of the things that they've been talking about about how can you have. Uh, use your earphones. You, 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 most of the time you can only use one earphone, uh, but you can start the music program. You just can't keep it. Uh, you, have to, you have to start your music program before you start your driving process. So that you're not choosing so you're your not songs choosing as you your go. Songs. So yeah. you're not picking your, uh, picking your songs <laughs> pick as you your, go down the road. Pick your playlist and your volume and then, and then get to your destination. As an officer, what have you all been told about how to enforce this, just looking for people with up on their hands? Or are you looking for drivers that look like they're distracted and then following up that way? Well, the biggest thing we're going to see is people with it in their hands and they're up, to, up, to their, uh, up to their face. Uh, like I was telling you before, you know, traffic uh, infractions are discretionary. Uh, we're not required to write everybody for every mm -hmm. offense. Uh, so I think it's going to be more set upon the officers to, to look for very egregious uh, type uh, offenses. Do they have the phone in their hand? Are mm -hmm. they manipulating it in some way to send a text? or things like that. Um, dialing a phone, it should be one touch dialing. It, it, you, can't, you can't send a text. You can do a voice to text, mm -hmm. but you can't you know, use your fingers to actually uh, use a keyboard to enter right. your text. So when you're doing your errands this weekend, buying something like this to put a mount on, you know, to mount your phone hands-free on your car is a must. You said your mom just, just got hers, so, <laughs> she so she's did. good to go. She's good to go. All right, we're going to be taking your questions. Thank you, Sergeant, you for answering the questions. I know a lot of people have them. Let us know. Our Facebook Live is going to start at 5.30, so you can log into Facebook, join Sergeant Feltman, who will answer whatever questions you have about this law. Look forward to those questions coming in, and, and happy shopping. My phone's too heavy for the one I have in my vent, so this is on my list this weekend, too, Ryan. <laughs> Thank you. I bought mine this weekend as well. Thank you, Cheryl.